Well, I guess we're going to try this out. Uh, I have my Raleigh and my Alley out here. I know I keep telling y'all I'm going to take you out on the Raleigh, but I got everything on the Alley right now. And it's easier just to grab because I'm just going down the test strip. Well, to a friend's house near the test strip. Sorry about that. Let me get this bike out of here. Well, guys, we're on the test strip. Uh, the noise cancellation on my headphones that I'm trying out for the new microphone is too good, I guess. So I'm going to turn them off real quick. Yeah, uh, on the test strip. Actually getting ready to turn off of the test strip, but I got my new microphone. There's a microphone on each earbud, and hopefully it works a lot better than the other microphone that I just had pinned to my shirt. Man, this is a bumpy road. Fucking hey. People probably think I'm talking to myself. But oh well. It's bumpy until you get past the fire station. weird man I cannot ride handless on this bike ever since I took the strap pedals off these are just uh, Seville mountain bike toe clips they don't have straps and it hates me for putting them on for some reason but it rides a lot better I think with them it's such a fucking big bike I traded four bikes for this bike, but it was worth it. There's a couple I needed tuned up. One I needed to true a wheel and put a new fork on because I ran into a car pretty hard. And that fucking hurt. It was on my mountain bike, my mongoose Tio Cali. I had a Schwinn. Uh, Del Sol, uh, Schwinn, uh, uh, Schwinn. There's a beach cruiser, Southern Speed. I can't think of the name. It'll hit me when I'm not recording. Twin Southport, yeah. And a GT Polymer 24 inch women's mountain bike. And some other piece of crap. I don't know. But now I work for a group. Because he owns a bike shop that this came from. This had the tag on it. He had 189 on it. Which is fair in this area. 
fly this thing. I gotta go there, man. Man, I'm freaking mad. I didn't hit my Strava until we got here. Alright, I just want to record this call. To the Randolph County Sheriff's Office to ask about the bike laws. Yeah, hello. Um, I was wondering if I could talk to somebody about traffic laws. Okay. Uh, yeah, I moved to the area recently, and, uh, I'm kind of new to the area, and I don't know the laws about, uh, like, cycling, commuting by bicycle, like, um, how far you're supposed to stay off the curb, and how far cars are supposed to be when they pass, and that kind of stuff. For a bicycle? Yeah, because I can't find it online. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, hello. Um, I moved to the area recently, and I I commute by cycling, like I'm a cyclist. And I was wondering if you guys had laws in the county about how far to the curb a cyclist has to be, or how uh, far a car has to be when passing, and stuff like that. Because I can't find it on the internet. As far as traveling on our highway? As far as traveling on any road, like, say I'm going down the main road and... Um, are, you talking about, uh, are you talking about a city or the county roads? Either, like, especially the but city. If most. you're in the city, you need to use the sidewalk. <laughs> Even when I'm going 30 miles an hour on a bike. Do you have lights on your Do you have lights on your bike? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, then if you're visible, then you can travel on the road if you can go 30 miles an hour, like you say. 
Yeah, I mean, cycling's what if I do. If you can, if you can drive, if you can ride thirty mile an hour, and you have a light on your bike, I don't have a problem with you being on the road. Right, but what I'm wondering is, in like my other city, you could be up to three feet off the curb, and cars had to be three to five feet away, or when they passed and stuff like that. Yeah, there's no specifications on that. Obviously, if I was riding a bike, I would want to be on the sidewalk to stay out of traffic, cause so I don't get hit. But you do, you, you use your judgment on what you feel safe. Well. I mean, I ride on 23 millimeter tires on a road bike, and it it's meant to go on the road at fast speeds. Okay. Yeah. If you have a light, ride the road. You can go 30 mile an hour, ride the road. All right. What are my rights on the road, then, as a cyclist? I'm sorry? What are my rights on the road as long as I'm using my signals and my lights? Yeah. Yeah. So I do have a right away on the road then if I use my hands and my lights. I would say so. Okay. I was just making okay. sure. Alright. Alright. Thanks. Okay, this is my puppy Skeezo. I'm gonna make sure this thing's tight. I have to keep one of these on him to carabiner thing that it bolts on. There's some water goofball. <clears throat> See? Look, water. I don't know why he don't drink out of a big bucket. Right there's a little shit head. Right there's old man. And there's my beautiful Raleigh and Specialized, and we're going to get on the Specialized today. And as you all heard on the phone with the cop, I have the right of way on a bicycle. As long as I have my light, which I will be putting on blink, as you can see. And my real light, which I'll also put on blink. <clears throat> now, we're gonna go out to this country road. It's pretty flat. I love these clips on this bike. And these on this bike. I don't know why. These are Mount Savelle. And they're strapless tow clips. They're pretty handy. Especially on a really tall bike like that. Touring bike. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Had to make sure the doors were locked. Got a pretty strong fucking headwind. So I know I'll have a headwind coming home. I love my alley. Oh shit. Everyone probably thinks I'm listening to music on a fucking bike. And I can't wear my helmet. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm being a donut. Sorry for the weird camera angle, I had to use my hand signal. Let's wait till we get out of these headwinds, huh? Oh, a couple big bumps. <coughs> <coughs> These rubber tracks are about my house are way easier to cross. I was flying 
now I have to put the camera and continue the vlog here in a little bit down on the Raleigh. Because this head went as hell. I had to go into the small car. Right, 3953, 5339, sounds right. And the cross ones don't help when you have a bike pack right there. These little computers I got in the shop, they're awesome. They even tell you, like, the temperature and carbon emissions in there. I mean, carbon emissions in the air. And average speed, not your max speed, your time on bike, total distance. Uh, it's just got a lot, really. It's hard to say. Like, so far since I put a new battery, it says I have like eight hours. 54 hours and my average is 10.6 we have time 8 minutes 46 seconds distance 93 miles average speed 10.6 Scan it, it's not displaying max speed. It's saying 77.4, so I must have been in a car. <laughs> yeah. I must have left my straw on that time. There's a couple of them you can see, like. For a few miles, my average speed will spike, and like, you'll know I'm going way too fucking fast for a Strava rider. <laughs> but my alley is my baby girl. I've had her for just a tid bit over a year now. I got her like late July, late June, actually. Attention, so I made a new one called Midwest Cycle. And I'll put pictures on there and I'll put them on my Instagram and my Facebook. And look me up on Facebook, I'll put it down because it's really weird. It's like
people are people that are motorcyclists or cyclists ourselves. Like, I know I give at least, like, 10 feet, and that's too far, even. Like, it's three to six. But, as you'll hear on the videotapes, the cops are idiots, and they don't know about no cycling shit. Even I'm very close to one of the biggest cycling colleges in town that have a track team. Five minute drive from Ball State. And IU and all that shit, you know. There's an IU East around the area I live in now. But I was too poor, so I went to one called Ivy Tech. <laughs> People say Indiana don't have hills, but it's such a low grade hill, but they go on and on and on. Like if you look at the topography map on Strava, it shows Indiana being like flat as hell, no hills, and then. But we do have hills, they just go on and on and on. This bike weighs exactly like 18.7 pounds. That's without the pack, without the computers, without the uh, pedals, and without the water bottle. And it's still. It's a size small for me, it's a 54, and it should be a 56, I guess, I don't know, I'm 5 foot 10. I don't get no pain from riding it, but everyone says it's too short for me. I have to argue with them, like, look dude, no, it's not zero. Pretty nice little town, but people just don't know how to fucking drive at all. Ooh. And I just not thought about it when I put this pack on my Raleigh. I don't have a 27 inch tube to put in it right now. I gotta get some off the old man at the shop, but I ain't been there in a while. And if any of you can recommend some good uh, uh, wire puller buddy things, like for when you do your adjustments on your wires on your bike, then put it down in the comments, please. I don't know if I got that on film or not. I don't think I did because I was paying attention to the freaking car, man. There's a kid on like a little 16 inch fucking e bike. Ow! Oh, fucking pothole. I hate e bikes. Well, I can see I lived in a really, 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 really hilly region. 
on like a cruiser, like like you say, like I lived in fucking the mountains, like yeah, way up in the or way down in Appalachia, like somewhere like Smoky Mountains or something, and I had it just on a cruiser, like I do with my Raleigh here. It's only a 12 speed, and this is a 14 speed, and uh, I would, I'd probably want an e-bike in that situation, to be honest with you. Looks like we're going to do a little bit of kind of gravel. <laughs> I never took this alley. There's so many alleys over here on the drug town side. Call it drug town or drug city. I gotta watch it too because I'm running 105 uh, psi. I was running 110, but I took it down because these roads suck. But I might get off here because y'all probably can't even. So, I'm gonna see you later. Peace out. And here they both are in their glory. My lovely beauties. The specialized outlay 1993. All original except pedals, saddle, and bar grip. And tires and brake pads and all the cables <laughs> and the chain and the chain protector and the grease story behind this bike I got it in a barn cell for fucking ten dollars and I grabbed it my buddy got a Miata, and there was also a Giant, but it was huge, like, bigger than the Raleigh, huge, like, stupid big. And the Raleigh's pretty fucking big, like, see, look, it's not that much, it's not longer. And you gotta remember, this, this alley is back further, because that's how the bike rack works. So, it's not really that much longer. Like seat tube to fucking pop to uh the head tube but the fact like it's just taller that way the seat tube height is way bigger and that one's a 27 inch as well the Raleigh I'll get it out and tell you the story behind it uh Pain the ass getting these out. Okay, and I run Continental Ultra Sport, uh, 700 by 23s, always, because I had some Schwabe Stavelos I love, and just going over a curb tore a hole in the sidewall. I put a boot on it and it still works, but I ain't going out of town with it, if you know what I mean. Might use it as a trainer, will actually. Okay, and here's a Raleigh standing up. Get a better view of it. And I never seen the Serpa's uh, tires, the SECA. I don't know what those are. If anyone knows, and it says FPS flat, flat protection system it is really thick in the metal on these like the continentals are and they have a I believe they're called arrays or something they had them on the 84 USA Huffies like I got they're on the Huffy that I showed in the video yeah a R A Y A twenty seven by thirty 
327 via 114. Where's that at? Dang it. I'm on. I'm way off. Right there. And then it's got the Sun Tour 7. And it's got Raleigh Cranks. And they're still. Ah, uh, actually zoomed in. Uh, but before I showed you that, that's a Suntour 7 Ready Railer. In really good shape. Um, it's got Raleigh 555 five, five, double butted all tubes Pro Molly. Ah. Uh, I made a rookie mistake, but anyway, Raleigh 555 double budded, all tubes from Ollie. I don't know why it just went dark on me, but, and it's got the large flange Raleigh hubs. That's really weird. For some reason, my camera was like going dark on me, man. I never heard that happen. But it, it even says sealed on this side. Seal cup. But. And these are mounts of all pedals. Where's that name at? There you are. They've been beaten pretty good. I use them riding trials actually. But I don't have a trials bike anymore. I had a kink, but I don't know more. And as you can see, Raleigh sealed bearing. And it had a couple little paint chips, but I took care of that. Well, I didn't exactly get a paint match, but I wanted to get it covered at least so it didn't rust. And the story on this is I traded a mongoose to you, Cali, um, that I just like redone and put new rear shock string on and everything. A, um, Schwinn Del Mar, a Schwinn Southport, and a, um, GT Polymer, women's Polymer on it. But yeah, man, I think I'm gonna go eat. I just got some bread and I'm car craving. Peace out. Well, guys. Cut back here to the house. I got the Pathfinder 2. Uh, use that before I go to bed. I gotta take my dog to the vet in the morning to get fixed. Uh, hopefully, the new headphones work pretty good. This right here is a little tiny MTL 18650 model. I only got it on 1.2 volts, which is a little bit. Just a tiny bit left in this one. Star of the Night is Rainbow Cookies by Verdict Vapors with a couple of drops of uh, strawberry cream. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna end this today's vlog with the 
peace out and uh, hopefully it didn't get too boring for you too long I know it was a really long one I'm gonna start keeping them shorter like 15 minutes or less like get to the point you know I don't know why people complain about smock or smoke, whatever you want to say. I say smock half the time. I've never had a problem except when I busted glass on my TFB8 that I'm waiting for in the mail. They're coming from China. I got two of them for like 98 cents. So, and I got a replacement for this for 79 cents downstairs. I mean wait in a couple extra weeks whatever it don't bother me none i can still use that tank on the stick v8 but uh yeah i'm gonna give a shot spire to verdict and uh to uh today and peace out